Hi there, Ken Serian. Welcome into the channel. This is Sage, Sunset Healing Tarot, and thank you so much for being here. I do hope you are doing well in this time. May all of your dreams be realized by you. So this is a general, well, this is actually the extended for the pick a card reading, the pick a card that we did in community post yesterday. Just doing the extended so you see what I'm getting at here. So it's almost like someone is sneaking around and taking from, I don't want to start with the negative, but this is how I feel. From your home, you know, it's a person coming around in the night, going behind your house, taking this, taking a little bit of that or a little bit of this, coming through, taking some flour and some sugar. And, you know, it's behind your back, so you don't know. So it is um, diminishing your supply. So you can feel that you're losing, but it's this person that's doing so. And they don't care really about how you feel. It's not like they feel like uh, they're desperate. It's more like they don't respect the energy of you. Maybe they just feel like you look like you have to give. So they come around and take a second of person that would just think, you know, this person has more than me. I'm going to just go take some. Uh, this person could be in your family, living in your home. Okay. Like a sibling, someone you grew up close with or not. So we have fire, air and water vibration here. I also feel like I said um that with the star card for those who chose the star card card number one it feels like someone coming home you know and it's bringing a good feeling of home it gives me the feeling of when i would go visit my auntie i feel like i'm going to a familiar place it's a feeling of going home feeling good so if someone could be coming to your home which is a family member or you're going to visit someone but it's a really good feeling okay so in some cases with the star card it's a feeling of loss of losing feelings of well-being from home having to do with a family member or a friend someone you're close to emotionally or it's a feeling of gaining these good emotions or someone bringing things to your house like bringing in flour and bringing in sugar and kisses and well wishes to you okay or it can be both for those who chose card number two, which was, I feel, all of you <laughs> chose card number two. The energy I'm getting is you're realizing just how much infliction has been put up on you. How much hurt you are getting to see even the ones that have been intentionally put into you. You know? I don't know if it's like you've been walking around with the swords in you all the time, like you're taking the words that people speak to you that you don't want to accept, but you just absorb these feelings, you know, things that people say, other people's intention for you, you know, people may say do this and you will do it because I feel like it's almost like you are following other people's feelings more than your own. And it's kind of, in a sense, it's almost like you trusted their opinions or so on and so forth. It's like maybe this is how you grew up all along. Listening to your parents, you were thinking like they had your best interest at heart all along. It was going to listen to how they do things or watch how they do things and follow along. And then you come to realize with the Ten of Swords that it's not serving you, that these people, they actually... Oh my God, I don't want to say that, but I have to, you know what I mean? You know, it's the feeling of you always thought your parents, I'm just getting the vibration of parents in a household right now. Like you thought they always were, they loved you and they were looking out for you, your best interests. But then maybe you come, you came up on a conversation that you weren't a part of or something like that. And you got the feeling like they really don't love you. They were just as if they don't really consider you. They don't consider who you are, what you want, what your dreams are, what your ideas, thoughts and feelings are. When 
And it's like so disappointing because you believed that you were on the same team as these people, but you're realizing they've been really selfish. They've just been out for themselves, probably taking from you, saying they're working with you. It's the energy of Tom, Tom Fool's Day where someone tell you to go down the road to do something when they really just wanted to trick you up or to get rid of you. It's really that belittling. That's the energy. Like you're realizing that people around you, that's how they've been, you know? So with the Ten of Swords, I'm saying you found this out, you realize this, you're standing here like, what? It's unbelievable. You feel really, really, really hurt. Like everything you've known. You may be, you know... Yeah, but the thing is, you're not about to die. It's kind of you may be going through depression, but you're not about to die. You're just maybe you're not you're probably not even speaking to a lot of people. You're probably not even telling them what you found out, what you realize. You're just you know taking it easy, thinking, contemplating what your next move is. You may be working on something in secret. Like you're building something with your hands. It could be your job, your work, you're saving up money. It's like you could be designing jewelry or you're working on something that you're going to use. It's the energy of Wonder Woman that sits in her laboratory if she has one and she's working on her shield so that she can turn it on and power up to leave. <laughs> like maybe you're fixing your spaceship or your space suit. But guess what? I know how that sounds. But the thing is, you're, maybe you're working on your pentacles, your pockets, mending your finances, put it, putting yourself back together, working on your own well-being because they fucked it up, bro. Like these people, I say they could be in your family. And so you attracted people like them around your life. Like you're about to shake these swords out of you and like vamos. You're about to leave these, these people behind. I do, for, for this Ten of Swords, I feel like you are the one that feel like people have been taken from you. People, people in your home, they've been taken from you. You're, you're, mm -mm. you know what I mean? But, oh, so I wanted to make this video so I can tell you the Ten of Swords to the second, those for, for those of you who chose number, card number two. It's like, um, you're about to become the villain. But not really. Maybe the superhero. Probably. It's that energy of being bullied so hard. But there's your willpower has not died. Your connection to spirit. It's that person that's being bullied, you know. I'm saying being bullied is not easy. It plays on your self-worth. Whether you're verbally or physically abused or just not listened to, just emotionally abused as well. And you accepted it because you thought it was okay or it was normal. But people picked on you to, and I feel they intentionally did that, to, 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 to make you feel, to make you feel weak. Like even your immune system, as if they just wanted you to feel weak, no energy. So you can be an easy target for their words. So it's easier for them to just say, ha, ha, and you feel um, shame or guilt. But you know this now. You know this. But you're not saying anything. See, because I like to, you know, I myself don't want to show you the secret on this card. I'm not going to show you. It's like a secret. That's how I feel. You, you, you feel now. You're working on something. You know something. So the two of wands energy. It's like it talks about separation in marriage. Some of you, this could be you and your partner. Your husband, the person you were living with. person that probably was your soulmate. Or presented as your soulmate but was deceptive or manipulative. Okay, maybe you were living with this person. So I feel messages have been coming into you or you've been hearing something. I feel like your, even your sense of intuition has been damaged because of all that you went through. But 
I don't know what's working in your favor, but the divine. Okay, because the clouds are clearing up. You're going to get the light you need. Your true family will come around to you beautifully. You know, you're going to realize who is true to you, what is true to you. Now you're going to be able to listen to your intuition. The even the, the, the birds that surround you, the wind that blows. Because it's almost like you've gotten to this point of trusting no one really. So what else is there for you to trust except yourself and the little bird that you feel can't or won't? It's like, what else can be true to you except what is natural? You know, you've lost trust. The divine is here to pick you up. It's so beautiful, I'm telling you. It's like being left out in the desert. You thought you are about to die of thirst. And this thirst is thoughts, injury emotions feeling down but guess what a good samaritan comes around picks you up takes you to a place gives you water restores you okay the star card and it's really sad you know but I'm getting you're really a, a warrior, a champion, and you're 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 just you're supposed to be renewed. It's like going to some distant village in China where you're going to redo yourself, learn martial arts, learn discipline, and just look, because with the third card, someone is moving towards something amazing and brand new. Okay, so you're waiting maybe for the opportunity to do so. But let's continue with the Ten of Wands, the Ten of Swords. You are definitely aligning with spirit, intuition here. You're about to make a move to move away from what's not serving you and really to start trusting in your intuition. All right, for those of you who chose number three, we have the Three of Wands. The energy I'm getting is you're waiting to step into something. Like you're waiting for the floor to dry so that you can walk or for the road to dry or for the house to be built or for the way to be paved for the bus to come the train to arrive so that you can move because you are ready you see you ha already have the vision of what you're going to make of your experiences going forward you know what you're not going to tolerate anymore you're ready to just leave everything behind i feel like whenever this is done the desire you're waiting on to be manifested or to arrive you're going to drop off this red cloak and leave it behind. You're not taking everything with you. You're ready to go, but you're not really. Oh my God, maybe some of you have been in abusive relationships and you're just, you want to get out of that. But you're not telling your partner. So you have to still like be pretending like, yeah, I'm going to cook dinner or yeah, I'm just going to wash the car. But you're waiting for something. So as soon as it, it it happens, you can take off, stop pretending, or take like leave the ring behind. So maybe you like you like you're still wearing your ring. Leave what's to be left behind because you're ready to move. All right. So yeah. And the five of pentacles card is you really moving into something great your destiny following a dream a calling in your soul okay you're going to move to somewhere where you're going to be serving a greater purpose bringing in balance patience good energy around you thank you so much for all of your show of support do subscribe to the channel if you have not already if you have subscribed thank you so much I'll see you in the next reading, Cancer. And remember that you're all and all is within you. Bye. Take care.